How you doing? Just the continuation of is you is is you just all punked out or what? And the last chapter that I ended that got no time to finish. Okay, here we go. Yeah, listen. Well, if you are f you are fool enough to ask another man to let you live your life, then that man should tell you no. You deserve what you get, especially if you are a fool enough to ask your proven enemy, the man that has assisted proven to you for 440 years that he wishes you, your ancestors, your children, nothing but eternal hell during all the days of your life. Why would you ask him for anything at all? This is not so good, brothers. By asking somebody else for something, you automatically give them the power to say yes or no. You deserve what you get. By asking your enemies for something, you automatically give them the power to say yes or no. Can you see this? You give them power to decide the fate of your future. That is really something to think about. Listen, if I say, excuse me, Mr. White Man, sir, but can I have a job at your company so I can feed my family? And if he then just happened to say no, does that mean that I and my family, therefore, will not even eat again? Stop. Thank Do you mean to say that I'm supposed to come back and home to my beautiful wife and say, sweetheart, Mr. White Man won't give me a no job. So I guess, well, we have to sit here and starve to death because Mr. White Man is so mean to us. Is this what I'm supposed to say? Is this what you're supposed to say and do? Wait just a minute. Would a man do this? Would a man do this? Would God starve to death because the devil refused to give him a job working in hell? If I'm a man, why can't I go out in the world and cultivate and substance substance for myself, my wife, and my children, like any other man around the planet Earth would? Why can't I produce produce products, perform a service, and create a job for myself? Why does somebody else have to give me something? Huh? The white man was man enough to start his own company and I not am I not man enough to start my own. Why can't he come knocking on my door looking for a job? Why can't he submit his own resume to me? Do I have to live the rest of my life begging for him a little piece of his biscuit to pass out to my wife and children? Hell, I know how to make biscuits pretty well. Well, damn, self, thank you. Look at this. Black man and black woman, look at the nature of, of all the animals and jungles and the forests of this earth. There is no animal that is totally dependent on another animal to care for it on life. Suspense and success. Do you understand? Have you ever thought about that? Not even the animals of the nature, less than intelligence, are as foolish as we have been made to be, nor foolish as we have decided to stay, the so-called Negro in America. Do you think for a second that a proud lion will sit around and starve to death just because a little silly monkey refused to bring him some bananas down to eat for he and his family? No, sir. That proud lion will hunt for his own food and if he can't find any food by the end of the day, you might just turn around and eat the stinky little monkey. What, a be what other being on the earth do you know of that sitting around crying and waiting on another being to bring it some food to eat for its life other than us? What being, what animal speak to me? Yes, I know that buzzer or vulture will fly around eating of every everyone else's plate, but even the buzzers ain't lazy sitting around waiting for somebody to bring the leftovers over to him like a welfare check. Even the buzzers will at least get up and go over and seek 
out of the leftovers. But damn, what's up with us? Is we just all punked out or what? <clears throat> Subtitle. Whose life is this? Listen, black man and black woman. If you truly want peace of mind, love, happiness, and success and wealth in a life of self-respect and go and get it, go get it, go get it. And if you don't see it or if you don't see it out there, create it, make it. Don't you ever, never, never, never. Let nobody, nothing or nobody prevent you from getting it. Don't let no devil take your life away. Don't you let nobody force you into a life of crime, jail, pain, misery, drug addiction, poverty, self-hatred, no self-respect, shame. It's because they won't give you a piece of what they got. They got you whining, crying, and having kindergarten temper tantrums on the streets all punked out because... They won't give you some crumbs from their table. The hell with them. Get your own. It ain't nobody's responsibility to make a life for you but you. That's why it's called your life, not his life. Not her life, not their life. Your life, your life, your life. How is somebody else going to supposed to build your life for you? How silly does that sound? Come on now, slavery is over. You need to act like you know it. Slavery is over in history, but it still exists in your mind. Slavery is still ingrained in your brain. Do you hear me? Your master don't been, done been unlocked the gates, but will still stand here on the plantation to act in fool and mad and upset because my master won't give you no more cotton to pick. Negroes better learn how to plant, pick, pluck their own cotton up in here. You stand on the same soil that you worked to make your master filthy rich. The same soil, but you can't do the same thing for yourself, making yourself richly rich. Your slave master got you thinking that the soul don't grow food unless he tells it to. Isn't that something? He got your mind playing tricks on you. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Snap out of the slave days. Don't let that devil take your life away. He didn't give you life, so how is he going to take it away? Unless you let him. How could we let him convince us that our only possible goal of outcome in life is to be a crack out street hustling uncivilized criminal headed toward a life in prison or dead in the grave it's a trick it's a mind game you must believe that if he didn't make a decent life for us then we just can't have a decent life and so we sit here all punked out the slave and his master the master and his slave. You can take slave or the plantation, but can you take the plantation mentality out of the slave? Good question. The way you live your life from this day forward will answer that question. It's your choice. You decide. I challenge us to stand up and be real men for our women and for our families. Let us go out into the earth to think, to plan, to create, to cultivate, and to produce beautiful and abundantly rich life for our black families. That is what a true man would do. And anybody who stands in the way of you being this true man stands in the way of death. No punks allowed. Big love to the troops. Question. Mission statement. What are you doing? We are escaping negativity to become gods. Problem. Immature attitudes, the crying and the whining and the temper tantrums and about what another man wants to give us as black men, we should be ashamed of ourselves. Solution. Clearly state your complaint of dissatisfaction, then use the same 
agency to persistently change the conditions that leave you dissatisfied. That is not only a mature reaction, but an affirming pro proaction towards the condition you deserve for your life. How to do how do I do that? Constantly think, imaginally envision, persistently plan, progressively create, relentlessly cultivate, and abundantly produce. Next chapter, that was the continuation of uh, Are You Punked Out or What? Is you, you, is you Just Punked Out or What? And uh, right here is are you, are you a black racist? To be continued. <laughs>